Here's a, um, a little video on uh, the ultrasound scanning. So I'm going to show you how the scan works and um, and the usefulness of it. So the um, in the in the bike that we'll uh, that I'll demonstrate on, um, as you'll see, that without the uh, the scan, um, yeah, it would have been some problems. So um, it was very very useful, um, and this uh, this example is a is a great example of the importance of uh, ultrasound scanning. So uh, without any further ado, um, yeah, here we go. So uh, enjoy. Okay, here we have a specialized Tarmac SL3. It was involved in a crash where the handlebar swung around and hit the top tube. So uh, we're just going to do a bit of an inspection on this and see what the damage is. Now, visually we can see uh, quite a bit. Um, there's a, a hole in the top tube right here so that's obviously significantly damaged um, but let's see what else we can find on the top tube was that that damage on its own probably um, you know we could repair that but if the rest of the top tube is damaged yeah, we may uh, we may not uh, be able to just because there's not enough good material to uh, to bond onto so we'll spray some water on the part to act as a coupling agent for the ultrasound and um, just run the, the transducer so as you can see we're getting a wall thickness of around 0 0.8, 0 0.9 of a millimetre thick which is what's to be expected, it's typical on this so we'll just move the, uh, the transducer up the part, so that's okay. Now we'll just go across a bit and go back down. Okay, so now we're around the damage, we've got some delamination, which um, you can see the signal is changing. So I'll just go a bit closer to show you. So, so the signal's dropping right out around the damage area which is what we expect let's just see if it con continues up when I move the further up the tube so there's delamination still further up the tube which is I'm um, about here now there's visually there's no indication of damage but there's definitely damage there from the ultrasound I'll just keep continuing that's still still damaged I'm sort of moving further away still damaged um, yeah so the, the damage is continuing all the way up the top tube on uh, on the si side of the uh, original damage so if we move across, you, know, you can see the signal on the uh, left hand side is okay. Try to get it without so much glare on the screen. And then when we go on to the right hand side, we're getting the delamination showing up. So it's the left hand side, it's the right hand side. So what's this, um, basically what we're looking at here is um, the damage so it goes all along the center line of the bike up to about this point here and um, it continues it continues around to about this point here so we'll just sort of sketch that on and work around the bike it's just
Yeah, so there's a long piece of damage, a long delamination. So when the, the, the shock of, um, of the impact has is, is basically uh, caused the delamination up that length of the tube. So, uh, yeah, this bike is pretty much dead. Um, it's, so, it's one of those things that visually you wouldn't see anything. So, you know, perhaps you might think, oh, we can just repair this damaged area. But if you just did that, you'd be missing the rest of the, the delaminated tube. So the repair itself wouldn't be sound because you're not um, doing a repair on good material. So, um, yeah, so this is sort of beyond repair, in my opinion, and uh, you know, in practical terms. And uh, the, uh, yeah, visually it'd be very hard to, uh, to tell. The other thing was, uh, I've already done an ultrasound on the fork and, uh, and found a delamination up on the steerer tube where the stem clamps, which is, again, it's uh, quite common after an impact um, on the f for the fork steerer to get damaged. Again, visually, you'd be very hard pressed to see anything. Um, there's, there's no visual indication of that. Um, and also on the handlebar, that's the impact site, and um, I'm getting some damage indications here, but also on the uh, stem clamp area. So that wraps up this bike. Um, there's obviously some damage, the handlebar, the fork, and the top tube on the frame. So uh, be, be careful out there and uh, avoid, avoid damage uh, to your bike. So as you can see, um, it would have been very difficult to find that full extent of that damage with any other method. So um, it didn't tap, it wasn't visual. So you know, with the scan, you find it easy as, as you saw on that video. So, um, so that's it for another quick video. And um, yeah, we'll uh, catch you again soon. So if you like the channel, subscribe, look at the other videos and uh, put any comments below. Thank you.